Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish come in at number five in our way too early top 25. And it's a new era for Notre Dame as Marcus Freeman takes over as head coach, replacing Brian Kelly, who moved on to LSU. And despite the head coaching change, despite losing some key players, expectations are still very high in South Bend. The million dollar question is, can Notre Dame live up to those expectations with a very difficult schedule? So again, guys, welcome back to the Gridiron Expert here to break down Notre Dame's schedule. I'll give you a brief outlook for their 2022 season. Before we do that, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, become a part of our Gridiron Expert team, guys, by doing all of that so we can continue to provide you with college football content year round. So again, we thank you all so much for your support, but please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and become a part of our GE Nation. Again, guys, this is a place for college football. If you love the sport, this is the place for you. So you look at Notre Dame, 11-2 last year. What we didn't know at the time is that was going to be Brian Kelly's last year with the Fighting Irish. In a lone regular season loss to Cincinnati, ultimately kept Notre Dame out of the college football playoff. If Notre Dame beat Cincinnati, Notre Dame is in the playoff for the second consecutive year. But they fell to the Bearcats at home and then fell to Oklahoma State in the Fiesta Bowl, blew a 21-point lead to the Cowboys, and that was actually... Marcus Freeman's first game with the program. He coached that game for Notre Dame and then, of course, was already promoted to head coach at that point anyway. So his first game didn't go as planned, had a chance to win a New Year's Six Bowl game, fell just short, 37-35, to but that is in the past, and Ohio State is ready to try to get back to the college football playoff. They do lose their quarterback, though, in Jack Cohn, so there's a bit of a quarterback battle going on between Drew Pine and Tyler Buckner. They have seven returning starters coming on defense, but one of the biggest guys coming in actually wasn't a starter last year. It is Brandon Joseph coming in from Northwestern, who comes in at safety. I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to replace Kyle Hamilton. He fits that scheme perfectly. He fits Marcus Freeman's scheme perfectly. And when you lose a star like Kyle Hamilton, you just go out and you find another guy, and another big star to replace him. And that's exactly what Brandon Joseph is. So this team guy still has a lot of talent has a lot of great coaches on their staff, and I really believe that Notre Dame is a top five team in the country, and I really do believe they are a playoff contender, and you're going to get a great opportunity to see if that's true right off the bat in week one. Notre Dame at Ohio State. What a game. What a way to kick off the college football season. One of the most anticipated games of week one. The Fighting Irish have a chance to win a big game. You know, for under Brian Kelly, it was always he's unable to win the big games. Can't win the big ones in the regular season. Can't win the big New Year's Six Bowl games. Can't win the Natty like in 2012. Can't win a playoff game like he was unable to do twice. Can Marcus Freeman break that trend and in week one go in to the shoe and take down Ohio State and C.J. Stroud? It's going to be a very, very difficult game, and that's going to set the tone for the entire season. You know, that, that loss doesn't ruin Notre Dame's playoff hopes. You know, everybody says Notre Dame has to go undefeated to get into the playoff. If they're 11 and 1 with their lone loss in week one to Ohio State, it doesn't ruin them by any means, especially if it's close. But a win would do wonders for the Fighting Irish. It would boost their resume significantly to go on the road and get a win over a top five team. That's how big this game is. The bigger game for me, the bigger game for Notre Dame, in my opinion, than it is for Ohio State. Big for both, but bigger for the Fighting Irish than the Buckeyes. That is huge. It's going to be a great game to watch in Week 1. They get Marshall. They get California. Again, we're not here to predict any games, but I'm sure many will predict Notre Dame to win both of those. If you're looking for a key game stretch for Notre Dame, key three or four game stretch, it probably starts on September 24th at North Carolina and goes all the way to October 15th when they face off against Stanford. Not a very big one there, but North Carolina is a team that you know, in Chapel Hill, can give Notre Dame a run for their money. In South Bend last year, they only fell to the Fighting Irish 44-34. to Yes, they do lose Sam Howell. Yes, they do have some personnel changes, but Mac Brown at home could get the job done over Notre Dame. They get their bye week before taking on BYU in Las Vegas. And to me, that's probably uh, the toughest game in this stretch is a BYU team that practically returns everybody on defense uh, and has a very solid offense led by Jaron Hall at quarterback. This is a BYU team, guys, that we had ranked in our top 25. We talked about them a few uh, weeks ago. And a BYU team that very well could win double-digit games again 
uh, now in 2022. So Notre Dame cannot afford to overlook that game in Las Vegas. A great stadium, a great venue. Should be a great game between the Fighting Irish and the Cougars. And then finally, Stanford. Notre Dame crushed Stanford last year, 45-14. to uh, But you really can't count the Cardinal out. They haven't lived up to expectations in recent years. Uh, but this is still a team that could give Notre Dame a run for their money, especially if David Shaw can start turning things around uh, in 2022. After a bad 2021, can they get the players in there to not go win the Pac-12, not be a national title contender, but to just be relevant again? Uh, and we're kind of grouping them in there for that. But again, BYU, to me, the biggest game in that stretch. After that, they get UNLV. Shouldn't have any issues with the Rebels at Syracuse. Uh, again, in the Carrier Dome. Should be a fun venue, but not one that I think Notre Dame fans are too scared about. And then Clemson. That's your big game. Really, Notre Dame's schedule, to me, is kind of broken down into four key games, not as much of a stretch. If you want to give a stretch, it's North Carolina to Stanford. But the four biggest games on their schedule that will define their season are the Ohio State game, BYU, Clemson, and the season finale at USC. And we'll touch on that here in a second. But first, Clemson. You know, it was just a couple years ago that we saw the instant classic between the Fighting Irish and the Tigers in South Bend. What many thought was DJ Uyungle's breakout game for Clemson, but the Fighting Irish getting that overtime victory over the Tigers. It was a phenomenal game. One that eventually propelled Notre Dame into the college football playoff where they end up falling to Alabama. But Clemson coming to South Bend is huge because Notre Dame is a undefeated or one-loss team coming into this game. Clemson might be the exact same. We expect the Tigers to bounce back big time after a down 10-3 and season in 2021. If the Tigers are a top 10, top 15 team, this is another huge resume-boosting win potentially for Notre Dame if they can get the job done. Clemson has a phenomenal defense, a phenomenal coach in Davo Swinney, but they do have quarterback questions. Will it be Kay Klubnik? Will it be DJ Uyunglele again? How will the offense gel after being so lackluster in 2021? Notre Dame has a great shot to take down Clemson. We've seen them do it before. Did it a few years ago. Fell with them in the ACC Championship a few weeks later, but still got the job done in South Bend. They can do it again. And again, if Notre Dame is a one-loss team or undefeated at this point, a win over Clemson would do wonders for their playoff hopes. They play Navy in Baltimore. Took down the, the midshipmen 34-6. to Notre Dame typically uh, fares well against that triple option attack. And with Marcus Freeman being the great defensive mind that he is, I don't think Notre Dame will have too much of an issue with Navy. They take on Boston College on senior night in South Bend. Phil Jerkovec hopefully will remain healthy for the Eagles and, ha- and, and give Boston College the success that we thought they were going to have last year before he went down with an injury. And then the big rivalry, Notre Dame-USC out in L.A. Lincoln Riley, Caleb Williams... Notre Dame beat USC 31-16 last year. It's going to be a completely different story for the Trojans this year, though, guys. I mean, I think Lincoln Riley is going to quickly turn this program around. He's got, obviously, the mind for it, and he's got the players and the talent for it. Not to say that Notre, uh, USC is going to be a playoff contender uh, or maybe even win the Pac-12, but USC is going to be much more competitive and much more relevant than they've been the last few years under Clay Helton. And this is going to be a very tough game, guys. It's going to test Notre Dame's defense. Uh, It's going to test Notre Dame as a whole, especially if, again, the Fighting Irish are undefeated or a one-loss team coming into this USC game. If Notre Dame is still in the thick of the college football playoff hunt, this game against USC will be huge because the Trojans could be very similar to the Fighting Irish. The Trojans, I would expect at this point in the season, could be a top 15, top 20 team. And so factor in those stakes, on top of it being a big rivalry game, uh, on top of two young head coaches with their first year at their respective programs, uh, this USC game is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great way to conclude the 2022 season. So that's Notre Dame's schedule, guys. It is not easy by any means. Uh, Again, I think it's really broken down into four key games. Ohio State, BYU, Clemson, USC, all of those potentially top 15 opponents that Notre Dame will have to face. And they only get one of those truly in South Bend. Road games at USC and Ohio State, the neutral site at BYU or against BYU, Clemson, the only true home game that Notre Dame has out of those four. It's a tough slate. Brand new head coach, dealing with a brand new quarterback, dealing with changes across the board. But this is still a team that I believe is a top five team. This is the team that I believe can win every single one of the four games that I just mentioned. Notre Dame is a college football playoff contender, and they will continue to be under Marcus Freeman. But his first year, he has an opportunity to set the tone, not just against Ohio State, but set the tone for his career in South Bend based on the results that he's able to produce in 2022. 
So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching us here at the Gridiron Expert on YouTube. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. Again, guys, join our Gridiron Expert team. We want you to be a part of our GE Nation. We want you to be a part of our, what we're building here at the Gridiron Expert. And you can do that by continuing to watch, continuing to like, and continuing to subscribe. And once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on the Gridiron Expert. Thank you.